lockdown should be eased sooner than planned because vaccines are having such a positive impact, a SAGE expert has Mark Woolhouse, professor of infectious disease epidemiology at the University of Edinburgh, said data is pointing to early speaking to the Science and Technology Committee today. He said, the data are going really the vaccination rollout is exceeding most people's expectations. We didn't know what it would be, the take up of the vaccine. It's turning out to it's going to have to be high. I think aiming for the high 90s, percent, literally a record for vaccination but it looks like he'll be achievable. He said the vaccine must show that it can protect against severe disease, death, and spread of all those numbers are looking really good, he said. My conclusion from that is if you're driven by the data and not by dates, right now, you should be looking at earlier on the professor of house said the value of lockdown goes down over time due to a phenomenon called X but at least half the benefit of a six-month lockdown is seen in the first two weeks. That changes your view of how soon you should be getting out of lockdown. It gets ever harder to justify lockdown in terms of the public health benefit you're getting. He added he had confidence that hospitalizations and death will continue to fall in the short term. I think we do have reasons to be more confident we can move out of lockdown swifter than the first one. A disagreement followed between Professor Woolhouse and another SAGE member present on the committee who argued for a cautious approach to lifting restrictions to avoid it. Dame Angela McLean, a professor of mathematical biology at the University of Oxford, told MPs the vaccines are not 100% effective and that there would be people who decided not around 2 million people in the most vulnerable top four groups did not take the vaccine when offered or were unable to be ready. And after all over 50s are invited for their job by the end of April, there will still be at least half the population on that day. Angela said, we can say very very clearly don't unlock too fast. Because if you unlocked a lot, while a lot of the most vulnerable are unvaccinated, genuinely we risk disaster. I share everybody's optimism about how fantastic these vaccines are. But we need to be optimistic and caught there are still a lot of people infected out there. Professor Woolhouse argued we should not ignore good news and that we can't go with our old, more pessimistic scenarios when the numbers are demonstrative. Dame Angela added, I'm not being gloomy, I'm being cautious. I would say so far in 2020, we got into real trouble on several occasions when we were not cautious enough. Talking of the strategy of easing the first lockdown, Dame Angela said, caution was our friend. We did ease it slowly, and I'd say things went very well actually. I think from May to September, I would give a big tick and say a Professor Woolhouse said some restrictions could have been relaxed quicker in the first lockdown, based on scientific evidence of where the virus spreads most, including schools and outdoor He later said, over the summer we were treated to all this on the television news of crowded beaches. There was an outcry about it. There were no outbreaks linked to a crowded beach. There has never been a COVID outbreak linked to a beach ever anywhere in the world to the best of my knowledge. So I think we do need to understand where the risks are so we can do as much as possible safely without overcompensating. Prime Minister Boris Johnson was asked whether he agreed with comments today that unlocking should be based on data, not dates on a visit to a mass vaccination center in Qumran, South Wales. He said, I do think that's absolutely right. That's why we'll be setting out what we can on Monday about the way ahead and it'll be based firmly on a cautious and prudent approach to coming out of lockdown in such a way to be aired. We want to be going one way from now on, based on the incredible vaccination rollout that you're seeing in Qumran. Mr. Johnson is due to unveil his roadmap on February 22nd as to how we will leave lockdown and earlier this week said he hoped this lockdown would be during his visit to Wales. He insisted the government will take things slowly because it doesn't want to have to reimpose curbs. The Sun has previously exclusively revealed how pubs are set to reopen for outdoor pints at the start. They could start letting punters back inside from as early as May after industry insiders said they were hopeful life could be back to normal by July. I certainly think that we need to go in stages, we need to go cautiously. You have to remember from last year that we opened up hospitality fully. That was one of the last things that, that we did because there is obviously an extra risk of transmission from hospitality. I know Terry Terry a lot of understandable speculation. People are coming up with theories about what we're going to do and what we're going to say and about rates of infection. I would just advise everybody just wait, you know, well try and say as much as we can.